Hello, and welcome to Comic Centric, issue number seven. I am your host, Cruz, and today on our very special episode, we have Valeria Onteveros on the show. Valeria has been drawing since she was a little girl and has not stopped since. Since so together with our good friend Peter, they have created a comic book by the name of Teenage Flying Saucer. So stay with us as we try to find out what makes her tick and all her little eccentricities. And welcome back. Oh, you had to laugh, didn't you? Wait, wait, wait. Get it out, get it out. And welcome back. <laughs> This is gonna be a fun one, isn't it? <laughs> and welcome back to the show. I'm joining us. That was pretty good. <laughs> joining us again here is our good friend Peter Melini. Oh. And our special guest today, Ms. Valeria Oliveros. Ontiveros. Ontiveros. And yes, <laughs> Okay, Ms. Valeria, you're a special guest, so we're gonna start with you today. How are you? Um, good. <laughs> You're all smiles and talking about ghosts and stuff. Yeah. Okay. That's what talking about ghosts is. No big smiles. Positive vibes. <laughs> Gotta keep it positive with the ghosts. <laughs> That's the way they turn on you, right? Yeah. 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 The, the you, gotta be, you gotta be friendly. You gotta be cool. But not too friendly. Not, not yeah. Too oh, man. That sucked. <laughs> that you were being. That was. I forgot to mute this son oh. of a guy. Okay. All right. Taking it again? All right. No way. With the drum roll? Do you want the drum roll? <laughs> I don't know. You and welcome back to the show. We're joining us again here is a good friend, Pete. Hey, how's it going? And today our special guest is Miss Valeria Ontiveros. Yeah. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Valeria, thank you for being on today on such short notice. I really appreciate that. Thank you for inviting me. No, I'm glad you're here. Okay. So let me start off the bat by saying... Do you like comics? Yeah. Okay. That's the only question I really had today. Thank you for coming along. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> it's a great time. I mean, I, I mean, that's it. I'm uh, wrong, uh, and then I'm well, at peace. And, then, you know, and, and et cetera, et cetera. Balls, you know. yeah. Well, let me ask you you like to draw. How did you get into that? Um, honestly, for the longest, you know, I think it's like I started like with every artist you know when you're like three to four your parents tell you you draw on the wall mm -hmm. then you know the discipline happens yeah. and then you move on to less uh permanent uh, <laughs> paper pencil, yeah, paper, pencil mm -hmm. you know basic stuff okay and uh yeah i, I mean doodling you know and homework tests on the side of the little notebooks okay that's relatable things. and then it wasn't until I think the last year of high school that I took an actual art class and the teacher was like, well, you know, you, you could do this, you know, a little bit more professionally, you know, okay. and I was like, okay. And then I just took the jump all of a sudden, <laughs> told my parents, I'm going to art school. Okay. And they were like, okay. Like they knew I liked to do that, but mm -hmm. it wasn't like, I, I was going to be a Spanish teacher, you know, like I was like, that's oh, really? what I'm going for. And then I took that one art class and, um, the instructor was really cool. She taught me some new stuff, and then, and I just loved it. And I was like, you know what? Take the leap of faith, I guess. You know, <laughs> mm -hmm. I went to this art school, and it was called the Art Institute of North Hollywood. Nice. I got like a little meeting. My parents took me. They're super supportive, like my mm -hmm. whole family. Okay. And then I told the interview guy. He was like, okay, so I, are you sure you want to do this? Mm -hmm. You know, it's like a very big investment a commitment so, yeah like um so i just said yeah especially because i told them i was like i just took this art class and now i want to go to art school <laughs> he's like are, are you sure <laughs> are you sure about this i was like you know what? yeah just do it from one art class came all that yeah i mean i'd be like i'd been doing it myself uh -huh. but then Okay, like creative wise, when you were a little kid, did you do art projects and actually, yeah. you know, like, yeah, like participate had, and stuff like that? Yeah, like I did like here and there, and you know, I was always like, they told me, oh, you know, you're good, you're mm -hmm. not this. And then mm -hmm. I did like my own little comic strips, like okay. folded the pieces of paper, and, you know, the whole thing. And this was like, how old were you when you were doing that? It was uh, my whole like school, like year, you know, like elementary, middle school, mm -hmm. all of high school. I was doing it just not showing it i guess okay and then that art class you know we did like a like art shows and stuff like that and i was like okay like it's not that bad like i kind of like doing this okay. so 
But yeah, I just took I leap of faith. Of faith and <laughs> I did it. And um, I learned a lot. I learned that I didn't know like the proper process of a lot of things. Mm-hmm. But I did somehow manage to create that in my own way. Okay. So, yeah, you know, yeah. like, mm-hmm. like I was doing it, just not the right, you know, the proper way, I guess. Well, like, is there really a proper way? That's, I didn't know until <laughs> I went to school. I mean, I, I, okay, so I'm kind of the same way. I was doodling my whole life, you know, <laughs> and I had an art class maybe in high school and one art class in, one art class in college. You know, I knew I wanted to do something along those lines, but I never had a proper way. I just kind of like whatever came, do it, do it. You know, this guy said, you want to draw a comic strip in college? Do it, do it. You know, <laughs> yeah, that was pretty much it. You know, I didn't have no back training. Anything like that. That. It's true that we, we did make up a lot. As yeah. Well, um, we just knew where we had to end. Yeah. And we just made up the middle part. Made up the middle part. Yeah. I have no idea what we're doing. Yeah. You know. But I like that you had like a catalyst, you know, you had a, like, I guess this is what I'm doing. The art school, art class, one art class that, you know, yeah. changed it all, turned it up to 11, if you will. Yeah. I mean, like, um, I mean, when I was doing it on my own, you know, like I did the anime, like I was watching anime, I was watching cartoons, mm-hmm. like, animated movies. I love animated mm-hmm. movies, that whole thing. And it was like, what I mean, I didn't know the proper way. It's like I was animating, but the way... I assume mm-hmm. the, like the only way I could do it yeah. when there was like a much easier way mm-hmm. out in the industry that, you know, like there was programs that could do what I was doing in hours and like, or like weeks and, you know, like mm-hmm. a smaller amount of time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like yeah. what, what, what were you using? Like I was like the corner of my notebook and like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of post-its? Yeah, post-its, uh, little flip books and stuff like that. Okay. And then, but that's straight out animation with those, yeah. You're, yeah, yeah like, okay. And then I, I, I think that also too. Like, I knew I liked animation and mm. the history of it, but um, in school, it's like, then you would take the history of class, and I was like, wow, I really don't know the history of what I've been doing. Like, mm. like you know, like it, I learned a lot. But you were doing it though. Yeah, in my own way. Yeah, yeah but that, that's like I said, like we were doing it. We were yeah. doing it in our own way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess you got a built structure. Yeah, it, builds yeah it really did because I went in there and I met a lot of students that were so ahead of me in that field. Like they knew the history, mm-hmm. they they were working on the program, they had already done program, so mm-hmm. I had a lot of catch up to do. But I think because I didn't know much, I was like just fired up, like mm-hmm. just soaking it all in, you know. So so I did like the. I would go in at 6 a.m., like be at the door when they opened the school. Classes started around 8. I would use those, that gap of time to just kind of mess around with the programs and mm-hmm. stuff. Okay. I'd leave until they kicked me out of the room, you know, like at 11, 12, you know, like spend the whole day there and just do the most I could. You had that drive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like it, it was fun. It was cool. It was stressful. I met a lot of cool people. Mm-hmm. Um, I still talked to a few. We went through, you know, the finals mm-hmm. and the angry teachers and the really cool <laughs> teachers, you know, and it, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, that, that school closed early. Oh. Um, yeah, it shut down, like, I feel like maybe two or three years ago. And even though it was stressful and weird, like, I, I appreciate it for what mm-hmm. it was. You know, I learned a lot. So, and then it was, like, a lot more than I thought I was going for. So, like, one of the things was storyboarding mm. that I found that I was like, oh, okay, this is cool. And then I just leads like that. I think that's comic books, you know, like yeah. storyboarding in itself. Yep. So I was, like, immersed in that. So and you then, dug the storyboards. Yeah, I, I took, that was one of the classes that it was, like, a class that I needed to take but not, like, continue. But uh-huh. I, I kept with it because mm-hmm. I love that stuff. So, so well, that drives everything, gives you the mm-hmm. mo- motion. It tells you what's going to happen next, you know. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I see that. I can see that. I see it stuff like this I didn't know about you. I knew you were excellent drawer, excellent animator. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, I've seen what you can do. It's amazing, you know. Thanks. You say you were thinking of storyboarding. What about comics? Yep. I mean, did that actually lead to this? Yeah, so... As a kid, I yeah. want to say I started, my sister, she bought Ronma one and a half. I don't know if you guys know Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was a manga book. That's the one where it turns into a panda. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. the dad. And mm-hmm. um, 
Oh, and, she turns into a he and he turns yeah, into a she. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, just as a kid, she brought this book and mm-hmm. I was like, this is backwards. First yeah. of all, it's, the character arc is amazing. So um, we, like, I want to say we, we, bought a lot, we bought a lot of manga books. I was always drawing, you know, trying mm-hmm. to get them. Their stories were, like, super cool. Mm-hmm. And then we would also watch cartoons, you know, Saturday morning cartoons, stuff like that. And then uh, it just kind of like came together. And I guess that's what I was constantly drawing, you know? And I, I will always like reading, you know? And then I like reading a lot because they describe the characters, they describe the world. But then when I would draw them, it's like my interpretation of yeah. what they're telling me. So okay. that really, I don't know, it was like a really cool process. And I love doing that. Like, give me a description and I'll give you what I think, you know? Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, I, and I saw that when you did suffer a gordo, you just yeah. went off. <laughs> you know, you see that, that I that's why I really like working with them because they give me enough detail, but enough freedom, of, uh, freedom, yeah, to work with stuff. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. Yeah, no, I mean, you read you read comics, mangas, but you read any real Robert in real, but any regular comics? <laughs> you know, I know. Sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was more of a like issues that i would find in like school libraries and stuff mm-hmm. uh, like what i mean i read a couple like superman stuff some batman stuff mm-hmm. but it was like kind of like you know library school libraries kids don't yeah. really take care of stuff so it's like if i found something that had no missing pages of course i was gonna read it. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah but um yeah i mean we did that for a while and mm-hmm. mostly for those I, I used to read it in libraries okay but and then i you know read some online of course and, um, yeah it just it was great all right I any think, yeah any favorite characters manga wise a comic wise who so, would you gravitate towards i think manga and anime wise my top three are one one and a half mm-hmm. and Yasha and one piece nice and then comic book characters i don't know i like the grumpy ones you yeah know? wolverine <laughs> i like iron man like you know give me the tough guy with the soft yeah. like i'm a sucker for those characters so uh yeah and then i also happen to like the ones that i they're all damn dead yeah you know, like, and then it's like heartbreak <laughs> at the end but i knew it was coming yeah. but I, you know i don't you, know you gravitate towards that heartbreak yeah, I, I guess i do like even when i don't know it's gonna happen you know like uh-huh like when I started a story, like I'm like I like that character, and it got to the point where I was like I like this character too much. Oh, God, he's gonna die. Gonna die. Like, damn. <laughs> and then it happened, and I was like, oh, here we are again, you know? Boy, I'm telling you. Yeah. That's that, that's interesting. I mean, you're you're basically using this. Uh, like, these are like catalysts for you, right? I'm guessing. Yeah. You know, when it comes to stuff like that. Well, um, you already asked you how you started drawing, but what do you like to draw? Like what? In, like what? When you're doodling, what do you usually do? Yeah, I gravitate towards character art. Just a character, random yeah, character. Yeah, I love doing characters. Okay. Especially because um. And you don't do backgrounds. You don't do anything. I do backgrounds. It's not like my my Forte. strong suit. Yeah. Like I'll do them if I have to, you know. <laughs> mm. Like, and I, I've kind of like that's one of the things I avoided in school. All mm. I did was character art. So now that I'm doing like Gordo, I'm like, I have to take care of the background. I have to take care of the props. Like, mm-hmm. it's about the desert. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> it, but I like that. But, yeah. but still, you know, like yeah. there's there's like props. There's like, you know, it's an army base. You got vehicles. Mm-hmm. You got stuff. And I'm just like struggling. I'm like, man, I'm like, I should have listened to my teachers, you know? And I've like done everything. You're so basically in charge of the whole aesthetic of that yeah. thing, yeah. you yeah. know? Yeah. Oh my god, that's a lot of pressure. Why do you do that to her? I, I did it. I, <laughs> How could you? Sorry, yeah. Yeah, you. <laughs> well, let me ask you if people that don't know, Valerie's in charge. Oh, I'm gonna say that in charge yeah, right, of yeah. El Gordo, the Teenage Flying Saucer, which is a book that Peter, Valerie, and Miguel have put together. Mm-hmm. Um, can you tell me, actually, first, tell me how you got involved in this? Okay, so or it's a story here. Okay, so <laughs> I was drawing some stuff mm-hmm. had some people on my instagram comment that they'd like prints nice. so i was like oh that's a thing i never crossed my mind okay to make prints and like print stuff and people would want to buy it so then i was like oh that's cool and i mentioned it to my mom always go through her like mm-hmm. 
what do you think about this? And she's like, yeah, don't do it. You know, it's like, okay, I'll do it. That supportive parent. Yeah, like, and then we have this cousin, and she was like, hey, this cousin mentioned that he knows this girl, and that they do, like, this cool convention. And I was like, really? Like, oh, a conventional t- tabling and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I never thought about that before in my mm-hmm. life. And Your then, straight storyboards and so like, yeah, animation. Doing that. And mm-hmm. then I was like, okay, that's cool. Like, if people want my friends, then that's a good way to, you know, interact mm-hmm. with people. Networking, too. Something yes. I wish I would have done more in school, <laughs> but, you know, I was always kind of nervous and stuff. So mm-hmm. I was like, that's a good time to for it, right? Well, it sounded like you're always in the books. You're always in trying to figure the stuff out. Instead of networking, you were actually yeah. doing the work. Yeah. You know, that's what it sounded like. So anyway, these conventions. Yeah, you know so I went. I asked my cousin. And he's like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, I asked her. And it's called, like, uh, the Cape. Like, have you ever heard of that? And I was like, I've never. Been, but <laughs> mm-hmm. tell me more, you mm-hmm. know? So I got in contact with tea. I was like, hey, you know what? I'm kind of interested in doing this. Like, I'd never done that before. So I was like, you know, like. Mm-hmm. Here's someone, you know, look at my stuff, let's, mm-hmm. let's see it. And then he's like, okay, yeah, you know, come down to the store, you know, met up with Pete. Mm-hmm. I was super nervous to be joking. <laughs> I don't know if I look like a nervous wreck, but I was sweating. I was like, I gotta, like, make a good first impression, mm-hmm. you know, like, can't believe this. Like, I'm gonna do this out of the get-go, but I went. He was super cool. If you met Pete, he was a cool dude. Yeah. Just a cool dude. Yeah. So I came out, and then I was like, oh. I guess only I'm doing this, this, right? And then I did Cape. Which oh, is... you, you forgot a part. Oh. You did, you did pre comic with me that year. Before Cape. Yeah. Cape. So it, it was, he was here before yeah. Cape. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Cause we, no, no, we met, and then you showed me your art, and we were talking, remember? And then this guy dropped out or pre comic with me. And you told me, like, it's funny, when, you, when we were talking, I thought you had already tabled before. No, because I felt what you said, and I was like, "Oh, she knows what she's doing." She <laughs> seemed professional. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And so that's why I think, I think like two days later, I messaged you and said, "Hey, do you want to do time with me?" And you're like, "Oh yeah, no problem." <laughs> she's very like that. I've noticed. You know, she's like very positive, even though she doesn't know what the hell she's doing. Yeah, that's right. You don't know what you're doing. Just go for it. Was that the first day I met her? Where did I go to what the free? Was, was this free comic book day? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, man, it was a blur. It was fun. But <laughs> it was clearly blur. I was nervous. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, if I did, I don't remember myself, but I was also oh, yeah, that's probably yeah. Good, huh? yeah. yeah no, it was that was a couple of weeks before Cape. It was like, oh, okay. That's when we were crazy. We used to do it like two weeks after free comic book day. <laughs> yeah, that Cape man, yeah. that was some crazy shit. So you did the tabling at Cape. How did that go? I mean, did you sell? Did you try to network or? Yeah, so uh, learning curve. I'd never done a setup. Uh So I went, I guess, up and above, you know, trying to show off, Mm -hmm. you know, look like I knew what I was doing. Didn't know what I was doing, but I learned from it, you know, it was cool. Um, I uh, was really nervous. I took my whole family. (laughs) I don't know if you guys remember that. My sister was there, my nephew was there, like. That's my support group, but yeah, mm-hmm. I took them, and uh, it was fun. Like, it was just a cool vibe that I never, I had never even been to events like that. Like, I'd been to a few, but I never knew how like the community of it was. Mm-hmm. And all of you guys were really cool, you know, taking care of everybody. Mm-hmm. The setup was fun. A bunch of talent, like dude, talent up the year, like dude. <laughs> And that was the first year of Cape. And after yeah. we rebranded from the UCLA well, company. That, 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 that was the second one. So it was our first Cape. Uh huh. But we had UCLA Comic Con. That's what I'm saying. Right? After we rebranded. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. UCLA Comic Con, then the first Cape. That was and that's the, with her. So okay. Yeah. That was the first Cape. And the second Cape, though, you did the poster. Yeah. 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 Right? You came back. You came back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. But in between that, you teamed up with Pete on the book. Mm-hmm. And how did that how yeah. how that happen? Just get out of here. <laughs> Say, hey, do you want to draw a book? I don't know how it went exactly. But it's I, like... I, it's funny, I remember after that first case, mm-hmm. we were talking, and I mentioned the book, mm-hmm. and I remember you just saying like, "Well, I, I do storyboard," and I was like, "That's the same thing. <laughs> 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 it should be. It'll be fine." <laughs> Be See, that's the problem with you two. You're, you're very positive. You're very positive. That's too much positivity. Sure, you'll do it. No problem. Yeah. Like, 
so. I'm, I'm in the middle of it right here, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's how it went down. It was like, you know, and we had talked about it, and it was a couple weeks later, then we met up, and we. Yeah, you emailed me, and you were like, hey, uh, you have this comic book. Would you like, be interested in meeting up? So you could, like, I guess you guys were pitching yeah. it to me, yeah. and I was like, sure, yeah, I'd like to come down. And then it's like, I was funny back at home, like, oh, my God. Amazing. Yeah. No way. At that point, were you doing anything else with your drawings? No, I mean, I was just uh, after I got on Instagram after school, like mm-hmm. that's all I was posting. I did like I don't know why for two years straight I was posting every day. Like, mm-hmm. There's this this trend thing. So in a way, I can't, I'm kind of glad I did that because I generated a lot of the things that mm-hmm. I printed out for the comic. Oh, uh, for the cake during those. Um, but yeah, I wasn't, I was just kind of like doing my own thing. And then he told me, I was like, yeah, why not? Why not? Just like everything else I do. Why, why not? not? Why not do it? I love it. Tell me a little bit more about, actually before that, it appears that there was another front runner for the Gordo comic. Kind of, but we were always looking, like we had, so backstory for the book. Uh-huh. A lot of people don't know, and I, I can tell people this, it's based on a public domain DC bag auto binder book. The creator of Shazam. Uh-huh. This was their follow up to Shazam, right? So after Shazam came. <laughs> yeah. They had a book called Batman the Human Flying Saucer. Mm. And it literally was about this big white guy who he was rich. He was, uh, he, was, he was rich. He saved an alien who was stuck under a tree. Right. <laughs> wow. And, and the alien rewarded him by giving him this formula. They let him turn into a flying saucer. A formula? Yeah, it was a formula. Okay. And he thought it was root beer. Uh-huh. So he, that's why he drank it. <laughs> and then it, it's like, it's so cartoony because like the guy is like really fat. Like, yeah. The first issue he's eating and then his, his mom's like, I thought you were going to go on a diet. He's like, I only ate two chickens. Only two moms. Yeah. <laughs> but that was the other, the other gimmick of it was that he was really big, mm-hmm. but he was, he was, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? He could jump around. He had he was agile. Oh. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> this is before he drank the root beer. Yeah, before, yeah. Okay. And then he drank he drank the stuff and he's able to turn the fun soccer and then he decided to become a superhero. Okay. And I remember reading someone brought comics to sell at the store uh-huh. and w- one of the issues was in there. And then I found that book. I'm like, what is this? And then I noticed the names right away. I'm like, you know, like, the creation is that, <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> and I, I read it and I found that there's only three issues. Uh-huh. I, I hunted those issues down, and I read through the whole thing. I'm like, this is so weird and silly, but I think it'll work now, <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> and we found out it's public domain. So anyone could use it. Anyone could use it. Mm-hmm. So we, me, me and Miguel were talking, and we are trying to figure out a way to, like, adapt this. Okay. And our first attempt was to do it serious. Oh. Like, it was said during the, the Roswell crash. Oh. And he was, like, a security guard at the, the thing. And then, like, it was just, it was weird. So he was an adult instead of, <laughs> yeah. a, okay, a teenager. He was an adult, man, and the whole thing. And then, um, and it was just, like, even though we were trying to do, like, that B-movie thing, uh-huh. the, the concept was just too silly. It, it was like, this is dumb. This is not going to work. Mm-hmm. And we kind of gave up on it. Okay. And then one day, I was just sitting around with it, and I thought to myself, you know, if we make it as a kid, mm. Then we, it could be silly. Yeah. Because the kid, kids are silly. Cause, yeah. You know, they're all little silly kids. And, and then so we, it was, I started playing around with it more and more. Uh-huh. And I basically had the whole idea of what the thing should be. And I told my guy, like, this is what I want to do. And he's just like, oh, this makes more sense <laughs> than, <laughs> than cool. what we were trying yeah, to do. Uh, yeah. Middle age wife. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 right. two chickens, yeah. right? And, um, and so then it just became this thing where like, okay, now we know what it is. How do we do it? Okay. And I, I had to say, it was so dumb. <laughs> I wanted to keep that B movie aesthetic, but I just knew the first issue was going to be called Monkey with a Ray Gun. Okay. Because it sounded cool. It's that's just a B <laughs> movie name right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. And so like that's all I knew. And so I started scripting. I started, and I scripted these short little stories, and I wrote like three short stories, mm-hmm. and then I realized, oh wait. If we do this, it all ties together. So it's right. like that's the whole issue. And we can this whole thing. And we had, it, we, it took us like two years, and I, I, I had a solid full issue written. Okay. And I was like, we got to do this. We got to make this happen. Yeah. And we talked to a couple different people. And I remember like this one artist, she, uh, 
we thought, you know, oh, she's cool. And then she, she did the drawing, and it was so cutesy. Like, it, oh. was, it was too cute. I'm like, no, this is not. You need know, something a little more yeah. higher up. Okay. And then we met this other artist, and he seemed cool. This is the one that freak comic Yeah, and, he, and then we were talking to him, like, and we were like, oh, we should we do free comic book day. Mm. And he was like, oh, okay. And then he kind of blew us off, right? <laughs> he didn't show up that, that day, right? Yeah, I think he had someone sit in. For him. Because he went to another event or something. Yeah, something like wow. that. Yeah. I think he showed up by, by he showed towards, yeah, towards the end. Yeah, towards the end. Wow. But I remember that like kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And I was of like, course. oh, what the hell? <laughs> and then we ended up meeting with him later on, though. Yeah. And he oh, was, you still went through with it? Yeah, because we were like, you know, we still went out going. Right? Yeah. And, and I met with him, and he just was like, oh, that's cool. Like, he just wasn't digging it at all, right? Mm. <laughs> And so I'm like, all right, well, I guess this is happening. You want to talk about red flags? Yeah. So he just was not into it. And okay. And so then um, I think after the first tape, that's when I approached Freddie and I was mm-hmm. like, you know, we had this idea and this and that. No, and I think I, I would just ask if you ever thought about doing a comic book. And then you said, oh, I do storyboards. I'm like, ah, the same thing. <laughs> and that's how you roped her. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it was a little while later, I had to send the email and. Yeah, and we met up. The professional email. I mean, it's like, like, <laughs> Wait, a professional email? It, it sounded professional. He's like, hey, you want to come down? We're going to pitch it for you. And I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. This is happening. <laughs> wow. You know, it's funny you said that because we were like nervous. No. To the no. point where like Miguel was like, we should bring pizza. We should bring pizza. Like, he goes, we can't become un- uh, empty handed. Like, <laughs> mm. <laughs> like, because we were going to buy me the pizza. Yeah, so we were like, they would have worked it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but here's here's the thing i mean it's not your first rodeo though no. you know you've written mm-hmm. other stuff yeah, before yeah. miguel's written other stuff yeah. before you know she storyboarded already mm-hmm. so you guys kind of had the ingredients there yeah. you know but i think this is the first time that like like we've done stuff yeah and it's always like very open-ended which like it's just fun and like it yeah. doesn't connect to anything it's no, not exactly like and i we was afraid of doing that we were afraid of writing continuous stories mm-hmm. Because I, I, I don't know, like I've read a lot of it, and yeah. so I understand how it works. But it's like, it's like doing it, you know. It's a big hole you got to yeah. go in. Okay, you got to fill that mm-hmm. hole. Yeah, and so it was just very like it, it was a little stressful. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so you pitched it to yeah, her. It to her. And then, um, she came down. Was there pizza? There was pizza. There was, pizza. There was a lot of pizza. <laughs> there was a lot. Of pizza. <laughs> we were very nervous. <laughs> Okay. I don't know why he thought that was the thing. He's like, we got to bring pizza. I'm like, oh, okay. He's right. He's okay. Right. What was your thoughts when you coming into the meeting? I mean, I was nervous already. Mm-hmm. But I was like, okay, if he's a cool dude, I'm pretty sure this other dude is going to be cool mm-hmm. if he, you know, mm-hmm. is friends with him. And then I came in, I'm like, okay, pizza. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. And then I, in school, they always tell you, like, um, that, like, pitch meetings, like, they always make them sound so serious. Like, so like nervous you mm-hmm. know straight to the point and we were just chatting sitting on the mm-hmm. couch and stuff like that and i was like wow this is nothing nothing like that <laughs> it's very laid back yeah so it was cool and then i don't know it, it I, was... I i just remember like i think miguel stressed you out because he started rambling about it <laughs> and he started talking about like mike Allred and madman and and that it was going on and on and i just remember at one point looking over and she wrote down madman <laughs> <laughs> Well, you didn't know who Madman was at the time. No, I was like, like I said, I, I didn't, wasn't really fully immersed into the whole comic book thing. Mm-hmm. It was just like here and there, whatever I could get my hands on. Okay. So, and then like, I knew they were like, you know, the wizards in the comic You know, like they know their stuff. So I was like, I need to know what they're <laughs> talking <laughs> about because <laughs> I need to know. Yeah, I remember that, that, that stressed me. I was mean, like, what are you doing? Like, mm-hmm. you just were like throwing terms out. I'm like, yeah, what are you what? doing? Like, <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> and that's how you put the spices together, yeah, you mixed it yeah. up, and you guys decided to go ahead. Mm-hmm. And this was what, two, three years ago? This is what, 2018? Yeah, right. 2018. Because four years ago. Yeah, because the book came out 2019, Kate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was like what, like September maybe, or yeah, it was towards the end of the year, right? When we, we started talking about it. Okay, and that was the end of September twenty eighteen, yeah. and then pandemic hit, and I we were able to share. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were gone for a while. Yeah. No, but the, the cool thing was, um, 
we had I, I think we had one script mm -hmm. and it was like to me it was like this is done it's perfect and you know yeah. whatever and i remember like we didn't know what the characters looked like oh we had no idea right <laughs> wait a minute oh <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you gonna give her ammunition with yeah. no gun? You know. Well, the thing was, they like, like, oh, we had an idea for a design, uh -huh. and I purposely didn't show you the cutesy drawing because that was the closest to to what I had in my head. Okay, but it was. I was like, oh, I don't want to be inspired by that, right? Yeah. <laughs> and um, I mean, we just told you. I was just like, this is the way it looks like. And, yeah. You know, yeah, you guys gave. I don't know. Like maybe I asked you guys. I was like, "Hey, what is? Give me some basics." Mm -hmm. I jotted down like some bullet points on the characters. Mm -hmm. I went home that same night. I was like, "I gotta do it right now. I'm gonna fresh my mm -hmm. head. I gotta sketch it up." And uh, I mean, yeah. what what did you come up with uh, when you did that? Oh, I mean, I started out with mm -hmm. Gordo, and mm -hmm. then I had a few different mm -hmm. ones, and then I did a sheet on CC, and then I did a whole sheet of these super detailed masks. Oh yeah, the masks. Yeah. I oh. spent hours on that sheet, and I had someone that I was like, "Oh, these are so cool!" They're mm -hmm. like, "What? What is this?" Right? And then I went, you know, and I showed them these sheets, and they picked the one that was like, "I think this is like the first one I do." Oh, really? I was just like. <laughs> This is the one. This is what I think it's gonna be. And I was like, really? Like, you don't want the goggles? You don't want the cool thing? Now I'm so thankful that you guys chose that one. Like, oh, can we, can we, how do we redraw some? Like, I, I was looking at them the other day, and I was like, there's no way. Like, dude, like you guys chose the right one. There you go. Hey. It's usually the first one that's the right one. It is yeah. funny because you saved all that because originally uh -huh. you were just gonna have a gray mask, like an alien you mask, an alien, like yeah. A, and then and I don't know. We just like you didn't. We didn't push that across. But you, you came with the design. I'm like, oh, that's way better. <laughs> it looked like a luchador mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that whole lucha thing. So just a quick uh, side story. Mm -hmm. I was born here, but I was raised in Mexico. Mm -hmm. So a lot of my um, root like inspiration stuff like mm -hmm. that. It's all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So anytime I can add that to anything, yeah. I will do it. So you grew up watching Triple A? Yeah, and I mean, you know, all that good stuff. And then it's like, you know, everybody wants to design their own new Yeah. Exactly. So I was like, this could kind of work. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a mess. Yeah, exactly. You know? So yeah, I had fun with that. That was and fun. Then, so you're responsible you responsible for the character in itself i mean don't get me wrong they created it but yeah. you were responsible for the inception of the actual physical manifestation yeah i think that's one of the coolest things like this is my first comic book job my first official you know mm -hmm. hired to do this but the freedom you guys have given me mm -hmm. is it's like this is it yeah. like i think anything after this is like people already have that that notion mm -hmm. of what they want so mm -hmm. you know like if if I ever work with other ones, or other people, or anything like that, I feel like this is the best kind of like starting point that I could have had. You're you free know? to do whatever yeah, you want. Yeah, that, like that's super cool. Anything else is gonna be a little more confined. And yeah, more... you know, which is understandable, yeah. but no, yeah, like I came in and I was like, really? like, yeah, I'm telling you, like our tool is cool, but they always tell you, you know, you're gonna have the limits, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. don't get too crazy because people already know what they want. But coming into this, and you guys were like, do this, just make sure it has this in the yeah. like, okay i'll do that no yeah, yeah it's true i mean working with him before i mean that's pretty much he doesn't give you shit <laughs> you know he tells you this is what it is this is what it's gonna look like kind of and, and that's it you know and you go with it yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it works out yeah it works out yeah i mean you rely a lot on the artist no i definitely do you I know mean, like i mean she made a kid in a hoodie and shorts look cool <laughs> right like we we're getting away with a superhero that's his costume, right? Hoodies and shorts, <laughs> and it's working, mm -hmm. you know. We're checking for fans. Yeah, checking for fans. I mean, come on, easy cosplay, you guys. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyone can pick something out from their closet, <laughs> yeah. and yeah, pretty oh, much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but no, she really did. We really did put together everything because I think even Cece, the idea was we knew she was a shape a shifter. And mm -hmm. she was a warrior and an alien. Yeah. That's all we knew. Named Cece. Yeah. And I think I told you, the, the only big note I gave you was like, oh, if, he, his, if his aesthetic is green, she should be blue. Mm -hmm. And that was it. <laughs> Wait, that's it? I mean, we talked some little things here and there, but yeah. I, think, I think mostly like, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, and then I had this rant. I mean, I feel like the majority of the, the characters I draw are usually female because mm-hmm. I'm just more used to that in anime and mm-hmm. a lot more freedom with like mm-hmm. clothing and hair and stuff like that. Okay. And uh, after I we got Gordo down, I was like, I went crazy with Susie. Mm-hmm. I was like, she's going to have like a muscly build. She's going to have mm-hmm. a busted hair. Maybe I want a bob, you know, like mm-hmm. a bunch of different stuff. <laughs> I have a sheet on her too, oh, but nice. a different one. Yeah. And then you guys were like, this one and i was like that's the first one i drew <laughs> like, Jeez. I, I mean if i knew if i knew that's that's good i mean the first one you draw <laughs> tiny the first one you draw is you do the best one yeah yeah um but yeah i, I love working on cc and then mm-hmm. it's like when you guys told me she was like a fighter i was like i love those characters the mm-hmm. tough characters yeah. and i was like she's gonna be tough <laughs> and she's gonna take some ass so yeah <laughs> let's make her cool yeah yeah, good job. I, re- I really like her design too, by the yeah. way. Well, I mean, at that point, you're in the book, you're starting drawing, issue one comes out, then what? Uh, I mean, because you guys basically stopped. It's been two years yeah. since then. Yeah, yeah, a pandemic hit, and you know. Yeah. This is <laughs> supposed to. <laughs> hey, that pandemic was messed up. No. I, I don't know. I personally, yeah. that thing messed me up. I thought it was the end of the world the first year. Mm-hmm. I didn't even want to go outside. Like it messed me up like emotionally, mentally. I was like, oh my God, what is this? Mm-hmm. You know, I've never experienced mm-hmm. something like that. Yeah. No one went out. Yeah, like yeah. and it was kind of weird. Like I'm not the most social person, mm-hmm. but to have it just that little bit of socialization that I had just Stop. you know yeah. pulled out of your mm-hmm. feet. Like it was it was weird. It was just, no, I can I can attest to that because I mean I lost a lot of people. Uh, you know, yeah. I lost communication with a lot of people during yeah. that time. You know, I stopped going around to people's houses and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Socializing wasn't even a thing anymore. Mm-hmm. You try to keep Zoom up or anything like that? I did. Uh, we we tried a bit, you know, like yeah. the whole playing games over mm-hmm. stuff like mm-hmm. that. Um, you know, the video calls. But, you know, it's like naturally, like eventually people dropped out of it. You know, and yeah. always, you know, like yeah. we were all kind of dealing with that. So, Well, and I think the other reason, too, that the book stopped was that um, we had a plan. We had a plan that, like, we were going to do other shows. We were going to do all this. Oh, yeah. Stuff. Touring. Yeah. We were going on a tour of the, okay. of the big thing. And, yeah. <laughs> and then when it, when everything shut down, we were like, oh, well, I, I guess, guess we're not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> not leaving your house. And it just, I think that kind of, uh, like, was it got some air out of the sails? Like, it just very, like, it was like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I just was like, oh, well. We'll, we'll get to it again eventually. You know, like, okay. I mean, you had two years. You could have continued drawing. You could have continued writing it. Yeah. You know? No, I did. I, we, I, we have five issues okay like right now <laughs> yeah i think that that was more on me you know like oh. that pandemic like i, I stopped drawing for a while mm. i hurt my wrist during and spent like a couple months like just you know in an art block with mm. a weird janky wrist like it was weird mm-hmm. and uh just getting back to it it's like it's kind of like riding a bike but I don't know, it was weird. It How do you weird. get over an art block like that, though? I mean, it was just Asking it was for a, a struggle, friend. honestly. It was a struggle. Mm-hmm. Like, um, yeah, I think, like, even my family was like, hey. Like, they didn't want to straight out tell me, like, hey, what the hell's happening? But, uh-huh. like, they're always kind of gentle <laughs> yeah. like that with me. Yeah. Like, you're not doing nothing. But, I, but like, not trying to, you know, force you force or me yeah. to do stuff. So, I, I don't know. Like, uh, it worked. Like, it gave me breathing room. Mm-hmm. But. At the same time, it was it was weird. It was just me knowing that I had all these things to do, but just not having the the like drive to do it. I guess. Okay. Like, you know, it was just a weird. And then like the pandemic outside, like there was weird stuff going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Through, like politically, and it was just like the world was closed. Nothing. Like it was <laughs> nothing that I knew. Australia caught fire. Oh, yeah. 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 Right. It was just bad news after bad mm-hmm. news, and it's like you're trying to get over this one thing, and it's like God. Oh, other thing like then why am i getting over? it was weird i could it see why weird. you thought the world was ending yeah. I legit mm-hmm. thought i was like this is it yeah, yeah I, remember, I remember that day you sent me the video with the tanks on the train I mean, and you were like what the fuck is this yeah, <laughs> I live, yeah, yeah. It was there in the train. those I trains the, right, here. right here yeah, yeah right here i was like there is no like no no <laughs> I, I was like we don't even have a bunker what, what are we gonna do yeah. like, dude, i was freaking out yeah yeah but um you got back on the horse yeah Mm -hmm. slowly like just recently yeah wow um but yeah so thanks for being so patient oh no good good. but but the the bad part of that though was Uh. that 
I got to live with that book for like two years, mm-hmm. and I kept looking at it. And I'm like, I need to change this. Need to change this. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> that was the bad part. Yeah, yeah. I, I kept looking at it, and I was like, what was, what, what was I thinking? Like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you had two years to change it. Mm-hmm. Did you change much? Yeah, we did. We changed. We added the cold pages, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We got a new letterer. Okay. Yeah. Because we know. we originally lettered it together. <laughs> oh. Just and uh, again, it was like this looks all right. <laughs> Put some color on it. That's how they'll know that. Who's talking? My God. <laughs> what are we using? Comic Sans. Yeah. Like, like, Everyone knows. Yeah. 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 Simple, right? You gotta use that. Jeez. <laughs> But then we had this time now. I was like, well, I wanted to rewrite some dialogue. Okay. I wanted, I'm like, well, if I'm going to rewrite the dialogue, let's just re-letter the thing. You know, like, yeah. screw it, right? Okay. And that actually brings us up to current. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The current uh, revelation of the new issue, for director's yeah. cut, if you will. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys plan to go back on tour? Yeah, that's yeah, on tour. That's We're going true. full throttle. Oh. We're going to do everything. The weird cons. They're fun part. <laughs> Which happen to be the same ones. Yeah. Weird ones are the fun ones. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm up for it. it the world just barely yeah, you know, yeah, opening yeah, up. So, getting there. Getting there. Yeah. yeah. We're, well, you guys just did the Latino Comic Expo. Fun. That was crazy. That was a, that was a crazy. That was so good. Because I started thinking about it because like everything shut down before we ever got to take the book to the Latino Comic mm-hmm. Expo. So this was the first time we took it. Mm-hmm. And it was cool. Right? Yeah, it was fun. So the book didn't tour at all the no, first time around. No, we no. did. We did a it's cape, cape, and then we were supposed to do something else. Oh, it was the one. Oh, the, the, one li- you do. the library. No, the one you did. Oh, in the, the, the Fairview. The Fairview time. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's two little events. And then we did that library thing. Yeah. Weird. And library. <laughs> And after that, shut down. And after that, yeah, everything shut down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but we're back. Yeah, yeah. we're back. We're back. We're with, back. With the director's guide, like it's a yeah. new lettering, new everything. Issue two is almost going to be done. Yeah. No. Okay. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. coming. So we're getting the engines back on steam. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. I, I mean, where do you guys see yourselves in another two years? You know, since you got delayed two Man. years. Uh, I'm <laughs> Uh, I mean, short of an asteroid, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I th- I think they could be getting back in on it. Uh-huh. Um, the other thing too about about the taking those tears off, it lets you rethink how to do this. You know what okay. I mean? Like, I think we were like really ambitious when we first started because we were like, oh yeah, we're gonna do, <laughs> we're gonna have like five issues done by this time. <laughs> but that's just your positivity, yeah. <laughs> you guys. You know, at plus and plus. You know. <laughs> you know it, yeah, see, that's a bad thing. Like. If, if I tell you that, you're like, are you sure? <laughs> right? okay. Yeah. The three of us are kind of like, yeah. yeah, we could do this. Yeah, yeah. you can do that. <laughs> okay, if you stay, so. No problem. Oh, my God. You know, I didn't realize that until mm-hmm. now. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good movie. It can be. I don't know. You can turn it. You can turn it into positive. Yeah, that's true. Because what's the worst that could happen? Yeah. Oh, oh. I say that a lot. I say that a lot. <laughs> you do. You do. But, yeah, no, like, I mean, we're going to get back on it. Um, okay. I want to get, uh, we've been talking about crowdfunding and all that. And mm-hmm. I think that would be another, like, kind of kick in the ass to do. Like, if we, if we did crowdfunding, it's like, okay, no, people are waiting for this. Now we have to do it. You know, like, <laughs> okay. That puts another fire yeah. on your mm-hmm. keister, if you yeah. will. Yeah. All right. And, uh, and there's a, a ton of ideas and there's a lot. I mean, we've been talking about this book is off for years. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> for years. It is. Yeah. It outlives us. It yeah. has the potential of outlives mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. A ton of ideas. Of thing, so. That's interesting. And I look forward to all of that. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, I got the first one. Mm-hmm. I, I got the little one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, little, the, little, the, the little. That was cool because yeah. it, it sold out the first print yeah. in the Latino comics like Expo. Mm-hmm. And that was kind of like. Yeah, I didn't expect on it. On the like, first day, they just kept coming. And we're like, oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> How many do we have? Yeah. 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 Hey, no, I'm going to say something because I was just in the background there. But I saw you hustle like I've never seen anyone hustle. Like when someone asked you about it, you were on the pitch. You were on it's about yeah. this, it's a this, this, and this. And you sold it. You pretty much sold it to people. Pete was, you know, busy being a fucking bell of the ball on the other <laughs> the side. Bell of the ball. You know? <laughs> but you were there hustling the book, you know? Yeah. I, I would see you run to Pete. Hey, go sign this. Yeah. Come, come yeah. back, you know? We did that. Uh, book. So, uh, that, that was the weirdest thing about releasing that book was uh-huh. people asking me to sign books and like, 
I've been to a lot of comic book signings. I've yeah. never signed comic mm-hmm. books before. Mm-hmm. Well, now that you mentioned it, though, mm-hmm. give give them the pitch. Sell me it. Sell- oh, okay, okay. So sell it to me. Okay, okay. So it's an all ages sci fi comic book. It's a protagonist is a teenager. You know, he's going through the growing pains we all kind of went through mm-hmm. the weird phases. But other than the normal weird phases, he gets powers from that let him turn into a, a flying topic, which is even weirder. <laughs> added weirdness to the weirdness okay um so yeah he's just kind of having to juggle these really like two lives in, in general so you know keeping it a secret from his mom you know because your mom's not gonna let you do that I mean, he's not gonna let you do that but at the same time he's got to learn relearn like or not even relearn learn something that he has like no knowledge of like how to handle these powers so he has a cool alien friend Cece helping him along she's like that character that's um she's like the baddie like she can handle herself she can handle others uh but she kind of gives him that breathing room to kind of tumble around you know learn and and if he really needs to help obviously she's gonna step in okay she also um he also has the i mean the tech you know Mm -hmm. auto he's just this knowledge box trying to teach him but he's like a brain Mm -hmm. that is trying to teach a teenager that you know he has no like the attention span (laughs) i don't know go through here or something but uh, yeah so he's struggling with it there's a a military base a general that's after him who thinks he's like just this crazy alien but doesn't know it's just a teenager you know and Mm -hmm. he's like doing good stuff you know he's like as he's learning, he's like finding these aliens that may attack his, you know, innocent bystanders. But so the general's after him. He's trying to hide it from his mom, but at the same time, he's trying to do all this mm-hmm. and, and keep a normal life, you know. And uh, it's fun. It's got like uh, the sci fi, the aliens, mm-hmm. the cool characters, the relatable teenage goofy kid, mm-hmm. um, the mom, you know, she's worried about this, but. It's like I think it's relatable to everyone. If you like creepy aliens, mm-hmm. um, shady military generals doing <laughs> shady stuff, you know, and then um, there's gonna be a lot of characters oh, yeah. uh, slowly introduced. Oh yeah. yeah. And uh, I mean, Pete tells me that like where he's taking where they're taking it, and it's gonna be wild. Like okay. if you think the first volume is kind of wild, like n- no, <laughs> no. It's just the beginning yeah. to some, like, the tip of the iceberg, you know? So... Like, yeah, like, it's it's gonna get weird, yeah. yes. And you get, like, weird, yeah. you will not be disappointed. It's a lot to unpack, though. Yeah. yeah. And that was just the first issue. That was the first issue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the world building. Yeah, it's a lot. It's, it's very, uh, it's my attempt at a Silver Age comic. Mm. So where it's like it, it's weird, and I know it's weird, uh-huh. and, and, and the book knows it's weird, and I'm like, <laughs> you have to do that. I mean, it, like the, the idea is weird. Like, yeah, it's just playing soccer powers. Yeah, <laughs> what is that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. When you get pissed, I was like, what? <laughs> does he turn <laughs> into a flying saucer? Yeah, no. no. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's it's fun. Um, it's gonna get weird, mm. and I think if you were right, it's like the best time to kind mm-hmm. of create that kind of story because the weird is like accepted you know like mm-hmm. it's, it's mm-hmm. not like when i was growing up like if you went to the whole comic book thing it was like oh you're kind of weird you know like yeah. what are you doing you know yeah like, no we were now, there <laughs> we were there <laughs> but now I, I think that's like one of my favorite parts of going to these events mm-hmm. uh working with me working with you guys you know it's mm-hmm. like it's 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 great to mm-hmm. meet people that embrace it you know you're accepted um and it just the gift that keeps on yeah. giving you know? like yeah. it or not we're part of your support system now yeah. Yeah. yeah you know yeah i mean i'm fully yeah. i'm fully willing to back you in whatever you do Same here, you know guys. now ha- well yeah you're on the show yeah. that's that's, <laughs> that's more right. yeah, yeah it's more support cool. yeah more support than a guy gets you know elsewhere yeah but here's my thing this is now Five years from now, ten years from now, where do you see yourself? Do you still see well, obviously doing the book, but yeah. like, what else are you going to be into? What are you going to be doing? I mean, I, I do you even think that far ahead? Definitely not. I mean, <laughs> as we mentioned before, I'm kind of like uh, day at a time. Oh, we're going to do this today. Okay, well, 
Why not? <laughs> but I mean, I guess if I think about it now, like I'd like to continue with this. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe an attempt at my own comic. I don't know. Oh. Something like that. But any ideas? I have a couple, but it's just I need the tools. You know how mm-hmm. I mentioned I focus on like I had tunnel vision in school, mm-hmm. so I mean the script writing is something I need to work on, you okay. know, like stuff like that. I mean, it's easy to I mean it's easy and it helps that I can draw it, but mm. I think if I was able to write it mm. down, it would be even more like you know, writing mm-hmm. it down and then it's just Well you're it you're an artist, that's not your forte. Yeah, it's not. But yeah. I, I don't know, like every time like I get the scripts and then like I talk to Pete like and he tells me like how he's like the process of it's like mm-hmm. something that I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. this is really interesting. This is a lot like I didn't give it credit the much the credit it deserved uh-huh. before. And so yeah, I think maybe something like that. Well, I mean cool. I mean that when me and Pete would do our thing, Pete would be the writer obviously and I'd be the drawer. Mm-hmm. I could never write. So when I, I tried to do my take my hand on it, I mm-hmm. just drew the thing out. I didn't write anything on it. I drew the thing out. So there's these boards out there somewhere that has a story mm-hmm. that I never really did anything with, but it was going to be about the characters we were doing at the time, mm-hmm. you know? So as an artist, you maybe can't be able to write, just draw it out. That's the mm-hmm. thing. And I, I've, I've done a yeah. couple, like, but I like to learn the writing process because... Okay. Sometimes, like, I'll draw out scenes and stuff, and then I'll it's just, de- like, I'm like, what, what comes next? Yeah. No. What comes next, you know? Mm-hmm. And then it's like, I get frustrated. I just do let it go. I don't know how to end things. Like, yeah. I really need <laughs> to learn how to do that. And mm-hmm. then I remember one of the things Pete, like, told me is that if you start at the end, mm-hmm. then you kind of work your, your way back. Like, oh. I never in my mind no. did that cross my mind like that that makes sense because yeah. you know where you're gonna end up exactly so you know I, i'm learning a lot like honestly like yes drawing the comic book is sort of like storyboard but not really yeah. you know, but um it, it's a challenge and uh but i mean that's that's the fun part about it you know i'm i'm learning mm-hmm. as i'm doing this mm-hmm. and then like i'm having like insight on the storyboard or or the, the scripting and stuff like that so I, I think it's really cool um it's something that i feel like you can learn you, you're never going to stop learning from mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. like it's constantly going to be something new so yeah i mean it's definitely not something i thought i'd be doing when i started school mm-hmm. but i think that's a cool thing like when you're an artist you know like there's so many new things like there's so many things mm-hmm. i want to try that um you're never going to be bored that's yeah. true yeah. Like, so if you get, like, frustrated in one thing, yeah, like, take a time, take a breather, go to something else, come back to it, you know, like, mm-hmm. and um, it's just, that's something I'm barely doing, <laughs> like, learning how to stop, take a breath, and, you know, go back to it, like, there's no rush, like, mm-hmm. but, yeah. Yeah, we, we keep telling her, I'm going to write the, the next one in Stan Lee style. Oh, no. Like, <laughs> giving her two sentences. Yeah. To make a comic out of this. <laughs> Batman fights 100 ninjas. Yeah. <laughs> nah, don't, don't do it. Well, you know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see this in animation format. Ooh. Yeah. That, cause, Ooh. yeah, I think your your drawings would translate excellent into that. I know. Five years. Five years. Done. Yeah. Done. <laughs> Netflix. I don't know. It could happen. That's true. That's yeah. true. I mean, that's pretty much it when it comes to that. That's your gordo. That's your pitch. That's your story. That's your baby right now. Mm-hmm. You're obviously looking to get adopt more babies. You know yeah. your your own personal babies, <laughs> yeah. if you will. Mm-hmm. Uh, what kind of stories do you have in mind? So I have a couple. I mean, I like the horror genre. Mm-hmm. Um, so I have a few. But here's the thing: my style, I've been told, is cute, or you know. So I'm I'm trying to venture in different ones. Mm-hmm. Like, um, so I'm trying to draw a little bit more, you know, realistic or a little bit more scary. Mm-hmm. That's why I like doing the Inktober's, you know, mm-hmm. like we got the Halloween thing going mm-hmm. on. And, um, but yeah, like you mentioned, I don't do like lengthy stories. Mm-hmm. It'll be like a, like a quick little story, you mm-hmm. know, this happened. And then it's like, it doesn't have an ending. It doesn't have a beginning. So it's like, like, <laughs> is it really yeah. a story? How does like, that mermaid story end? I don't know. <laughs> I thought that was a good ending. I thought that was a good ending. No, she, they, she gave her the shell. Yes, in my mind, when I was yeah. like, this is perfect. Like, 
then... to me that was like a midpoint you know i, I needed to know more because for, for those who don't know it was on instagram she's been posting a mer- mermaid, mermaid yeah. so and there's these little stories of, of this girl on a boat with this uh, mermaid in there and i really enjoyed that until the point where like it just ended uh, yeah, you know I mean, I thought it... <laughs> you know but like, yeah, you see and then that's perfect because I did that like I want to say last October mm-hmm. I do random stuff like I'll mm-hmm. do random sometimes I'll go based off the prompt and then I did this thing where I drew two characters and I was like oh yeah I'm gonna draw them again and again and again and the last chunk of the October month mm-hmm. was sort of the comic like no dialogue or anything but it's just events happening mm-hmm. and so that whole think of it like that way if I'm trying to draw or like write out a comic, that's what I do. I'll draw a scene. It doesn't have a beginning mm-hmm. and it doesn't have an ending. Yeah. It's just something yeah. that just happens. And then it's like, you know, like the mermaid, why not? I didn't draw it with the intention of it being a thing, mm-hmm. you know, and now that it is. <laughs> suggestions are open, you guys. <laughs> me and me, you know, if you guys suggest, just tell me because I have no clue. <laughs> I thought that was a good ending. So you see, that's a, that's the thing yeah. that I'm like, I definitely wouldn't know how to draw a comp like or, or write it out myself mm-hmm. because clearly I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> it's showing. I know, uh, but yeah. I dug it though. God. <laughs> it's adorable. Well, having said that, I think we're gonna come to an end here. Um, can you tell people where to reach you at so they can see your cutesy little comic? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm only on Instagram. Mm-hmm. I want to say it's Valeria's underscore art underscore brewery underscore 76. <laughs> Valeria's <laughs> underscore art underscore brewery 76 okay, is correct. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was kind of like, but yeah, that's mostly where I'm posting my mm-hmm. stuff. Okay. Um, but yeah, follow it. Follow me and then, oh, and follow Gordo. Okay. And uh, it's not the time. <laughs> the best shot. Yeah. Oh, plug. Yeah, plug. <laughs> what, well, where do we, can we get though, Gordo? Everything is, uh, except for Twitter, everything is Teenage Flying Saucer. At Teenage Flying Saucer. Uh, teenage Flying Saucer.com. Mm-hmm. I forget what the Twitter one was. I think it's Gordo Teenage UFO. Okay. Because it was too long. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, so, but, t- yeah. teenage, a teenage flying saucer, and, and everything, everything, and everything else is, in there. Okay. Yeah. And so, you hear it here first. Um, thank you very much. I want to thank you right now for being on with us. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate your two bits. I actually got to learn a little bit about you, and, and mm-hmm. that, you know, I think we've grown closer as friends. Yeah, yeah. Go oh, yeah. We're going to totally yeah, go ghost hunting. Go yeah. 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 We'll, we'll, yeah. For people that don't know, we're going hunt ghost we'll hunting. Go if we don't come back, yeah. avenge or death. If, they, if we don't come back, you, this... you're gonna be there. <laughs> you're gonna be there. No, I'm saying this is like the beginning of like the Blair Witch movie. Oh, like, we we're just talking about it. I like that. And it's like they will never see it again. <laughs> <laughs> Until they found the body. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. You in the static? Did you... Though, right? No, we have better quality. Oh, maybe. We have better quality. No VHS is when I'm taking a yeah. big clunky VHS. I mean, we might as well, right? Yeah. Keep it traditional. In the event that it does not. True. <laughs> it would be uh, easier for them to find it. Like, it would be uploaded to the cloud. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I think okay. we're going to have to do that then. They don't have to find the camera. They can just find the footage. But they need a password for the cloud. That's true. Oh, oh. oh see? Oh, if we do like. Live feed? Nah, yeah. live feed's too much. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. then what if something really does happen? Yeah, they were screwed. Yeah, yeah. we're screwed. No, yeah. And you don't want the internet to see you like but crap, crap yourself. Like, like, you know, like, 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 <laughs> Again, thank you very much, both of you, for being here. It was very educational. And uh, for everyone who's still listening, thank you very much. I want to appreciate each and every one of you, but I'm not going to because it's going to take forever. <laughs> And um, again, Valeria, thank you. Peter, thank you. Right, I right. wish you all the best of luck with Gordo. It's going to be an interesting ride for sure. Yeah. 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 You know, and um, everyone else still listening, have a good rest of your whatever day you're having. Talk to you later. And bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. And don't do this, it drives me crazy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
All right. Well, that's <laughs>